Hello everyone, welcome to Quantify as your favorite cat trap channel. Okay, so like always, we have this new session today. And today I have a special announcement to make. Uh, because we received certain requests upon this course that we people would want to do specially DI course. So we have launched a special DI course here. Now, how this course will work? This is the course specifically for those people who are not able to comprehend the data. Who takes so much time to think, yeah, starting point, how should I treat a particular set? They are not able to choose the right set. So this set is particularly for those people. So from now till CAT, we are going to cover 400 good DILR level sets. The sets will be covered in two proportions. First, live classes. Every week there will be two live classes, 9.30 p.m. onwards, for which the recording will obviously be available. Post that, you will have uh, access to the 10 plus weekly DI sets. Every day you will get some DI sets and in week a minimum of 10 DI sets you will get minimum 10 and maximum 14. So this is how we will range and we will make sure that we are going to and also we will, we will be covering sectionals as we go ahead. So I'll make sure that we are going to cover around 400 good DILR level sets and that will particularly serve the purpose uh, for the particular section. Okay. So with this, uh, and if you're interested, the enrollment link is given in the description. You can enroll and then you can text me. Also, if you have any doubt about the course, you can text me at this number. 9-8-8-6-5-6-5-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-6-
for e3000 to 4000 3 to 2 weeks for one week then it is being 1000 per week for f5 to 3 2 weeks and 4000 it has the maximum transition cost of 2000 per week okay so a and a and f both have maximum transition cost so there were some activities involved which told us that which activity has to be preceded by which one so let me just go back to the question one and see uh, a b c were independent a b and c are independent and then it was telling me that a has to d has to be followed by a the census okay so d has to be done only when a is done a and b are required for e and c has to be requ is required for f so f cannot be done until c is done d cannot be done until a is done and e cannot be done until both a and b are done okay. so this is the route for the completion of the contract so first question says the project has to be completed in 10 weeks and what is the minimum cost involved so 10 weeks and minimum cost now let's see a has three weeks normally a has to be paired up with d it has d has 11 weeks so a plus d are together taking 11 weeks but i have to wrap up it up wrap it up in 10 weeks now from where will i reduce the time i will reduce the time from the place where the transition cost is low for d the transition cost is only 500 rupees so i will take the time of a to be three weeks only which will cost me 3000 and for d i will take seven weeks rather than eight which will cost me then additional 500 which is 55 b plus e four weeks and three weeks so b is taking four e is taking three so it is not going to uh, affect any way so let me give b four e three so b is going to take four thousand and e uh, is going to take how much e is going to take three thousand okay. now let's talk about c and f so c plus f c takes five f take five so they are already taking five five weeks so no change has to be done here so c will take five weeks over five thousand F will take five weeks and four thousand. So what is the total cost involved? Three and four, seven, five, twelve, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four thousand five hundred. This is the minimum cost involved. So the answer for the first question is twenty-four thousand five hundred rupees. So this is the minimum cost involved. Okay. So let's let's move ahead. So I'll just erase it because I don't know what conditions the next question bring. Okay. Now, in the next question, it is said, it is said, the contractor has backed the contract on the condition that it would be completed in eight weeks. Okay, so it has to be completed in eight weeks now. If a penalty of rupees purchase of 2500 per week is levied for late completion. So if it is nine week, we have to pay 25200 extra. And a bonus of 1000 per week if it is completed early, then which of the following condition would be ideal for the contractor? Okay. So I have to complete it in eight weeks for a the time was three and two for D the normal time was eight and six for C the normal time was five and three and for F the normal time was again five and three. If I see A and D normally take 11 weeks and in the crash course they take eight weeks in the crash activity they take eight weeks. So there is no way I can reduce the time less than eight. So first of all eight se come to aega any which means option four to four go out of the window. I cannot complete it in seven weeks. And for eight weeks, I have to crash both A and D to the minimum possible. So A will take two and D will take six. So this is no other possibility for this. So here it is 5,000 and for D it is 6,000. So I am, I am, for D I am paying 1,000 extra, but for A I am paying 2,000 extra. Okay, so let's move ahead. B and D. B and D are taking four and three, seven weeks normally, and it has to be completed in eight weeks. So B and D are not a trouble at all. So B will take uh, four weeks. And E will take three weeks. So for B four weeks we are paying four thousand. For E three weeks we are paying three thousand. Okay. Now we are left with C plus F. The normal time is five five weeks, and I have to reduce it to eight weeks. Okay. The normal time is five and five, and I have to reduce it to eight. C and both can go down to three. So there is a possibility of five plus three. There is a possibility of four plus four, and a possibility of three plus five. But which choice will I take? I will take the choice in which my transition cost is minimum. For F, I will incur a transition cost of 2000 per week. For C, I will incur a transition cost of 1500 per week. 
So I will go with this methodology because in this I will be paying two thousand three thousand extra for C. In this I will be paying for F extra two into two thousand four thousand extra, and in this I will be paying two thousand plus one fifteen hundred extra. So I will be paying minimum extra in this case for C. I will take three weeks, and for F I will take five weeks. Okay. So for C three weeks I am paying eight thousand. For F five weeks I am going to pay four thousand. Okay. So what is the total cost incurred in this case? Five and four nine and it's seventeen six twenty three three hundred thirty thousand. Now for eight weeks I am going to pay thirty thousand. Okay, but I cannot conclude it as my answer because I have to check for D also because I might levy some charges as a penalty, but I might save some charges as the additional transaction cost will not be there. So let's let's see what is there. So if first of all I take talk about let me remove this first of all because I have filled in the new values. So first of all, let me talk about A and D. A and D together take normally eleven weeks, and I have to bring it down to nine weeks. I know the transaction cost of uh, this three plus eight. I can bring it to three plus six. Why? Because D has the transaction cost of just five hundred. So I will keep A as three in this case, which means three thousand cost. Okay, and then I will keep D as six, which means six thousand cost. So this is the phenomenon. Okay. Then if I talk about B and E, B and E are not an issue, so B will be normal four and E will be normal three. So B will be four thousand only, and E will be three thousand only. Okay. Now C and F, C plus F, they normally take ten weeks, but I have to complete the work in nine weeks. So transaction cost is lower for C, so I will complete it in four and I will give it five normal time. So for five, it will cost me four thousand, and for the four. It will cost me sixty five hundred, and an additional penalty of twenty five hundred as I am taking nine weeks. So this is the penalty then. So what is the total cost in this case? Three and four, seven, six, thirteen, six, nineteen, twenty two, twenty six, twenty eight, and twenty twenty nine thousand is the cost in this case. So I am going to pay twenty nine thousand in this case, which has further lower down my cost. Okay, so obviously A then A is rejected. Okay, okay. If I talk about eleven weeks. Eleven weeks, I am doing full stretch. Full stretch as in three weeks this, eight weeks this. So each activity is going to take the normal time as it is mentioned over here. Nothing is going to change. Okay. So three and four, seven, five, twelve, five, seventeen, three, twenty-four, twenty-four thousand. But for three additional weeks, as three additional weeks, the penalty will be seventy-five hundred. So I am going to pay extra thirty-one five hundred in this. So I will not be going with this. Okay. So this is also cancelled. Okay. So this is cancelled. So this is also cancelled. So the answer will be second option in which I am incurring twenty nine thousand. Okay. Third question: Taking the appropriate condition from the previous question, if activity B starts late by two weeks, then the minimum cost involved in the project. So now the I am conditioned as this nine week condition. So B is starting late, which means B is starting after second week. So B and E, B is dependent on is E is dependent on B. So they are together taking seven weeks. So if I have to complete it in nine weeks, and B is starting two weeks extra, I can say that it will not affect any activity. Rest everything can go in their place because nothing else is dependent upon B. Only activity E is dependent upon B. So it will go two week forward. E will also go two week forward, but they all will be completed in nine weeks. So answer is going to be same. That is twenty nine thousand. last question what is the ratio of minimum time taken to the maximum time required for the completion so for the minimum time taken i will consider the crash time chart okay so minimum time a and d are dependent a is 2 d 6 so a and d are dependent a and d are will minimum complete in 8 weeks rest everything can complete in quick times like c plus f can complete in 6 weeks d and e will complete in if i do early in 4 weeks But A and D in any case will take eight weeks, so the minimum time is eight weeks, and the maximum time is again A and D three and eight eleven weeks. Rest everything will be completed. So the answer for the last question is eight by eleven. So this is an easy peasy set then. Okay. So set was not very difficult, but yes, cost allocation everything transition cost. If you don't know how to use transition cost, you might end up complicating your uh, you know calculations, calculating various. Uh, possibilities four, five, five, four, and so on. So, if you know the transition cost phenomena, then it will be easy for you. So, this completes my set. 
and if you wish to be the part of this league please join us as soon as possible and also as i told you earlier our new batch is going to start super soon for specifically for data integration if you like what you are seeing and if you want to expand it further you can join us as soon as possible these are the details rest you can reach me thank you so much guys have a great day